For me, seeding was just copying the class and changing some of the variables. So what I did was I came up with a, a different method to make seeding much simpler. So I'm going to create a new file inside of our seeds directory and I'm going to call this seeder. And this is going to be an abstract class. And actually we need to rename this to something else because the, the, because the name seeder is actually reserved. So I'm going to set this to, uh, we'll set this to Acme seeder. So abstract class Acme seeder. And this is going to extend the illuminate seeder. And this is going to have one method public function run. And we need to make a couple of checks in here. So the first thing that we want to do is check that in our in our subclass we defined a table. So we're going to say if not is set this table. And then we're going to throw a new exception no table specified. And you probably want to add your own custom exception here, but for now this will work. We're also going to check if the data has been set. Otherwise we're going to throw another exception, no data specified. And if that all worked perfectly, we're going to say db table, this table, truncate, and then we're going to say db table, this table, insert this data. So very simple. I'm then going to add a new file and I'm going to call this user table seeder class user table seeder extends acme seeder and we need to have our table and data property that we specified here so protected table and that is going to be users and then we need protected data and that's going to be an array a multi-dimensional array I should have I should have said that so we're going to set name to uh, max email to max at example.com and password to hash make password and we could have as many users as we like down here so I'm going to run php artisan db seed and very quickly, I just remembered that we need to add this here. So PHP adds and DB seed, hit enter, and we get an error in user table seeder. So let's have a look. Okay, so this shouldn't be here. We can call a method inside of a property. Try again, and there we go. We seeded user table seeder. So let's have a look in our database. Hit refresh, and there is our user. Now there's a good example of a problem that you might face when using this method. So instead of using a property, I'm going to say uh, protected function. No, nope, this should be public. So public function get data. And I'm going to return an array inside of here. And I should have copied that. Uh, where is it? So public function get data. And we're going to return an array again. And this time we are able to call hash make. So we need to make some adjust adjustments inside of here. We're going to say if uh, method exists, this and our method name is get data. And then we throw an exception, say no data specified. That's fine. And uh, we need to replace this with this get data. Okay, so let's try one more time. We've got a syntax error. Let's have a look. Okay, yep. Yeah. Whoops. So let's fix that and try one more time. Whoops. Semicolon. And we get no data specified. Uh, Oh, this should be get class. Try again. And there we go. Hit refresh. And we get our hashed password.